63 days in the house and you will see day 64 you are safe. Why were they looking at her like that? When I saw that look, I was like, um, what's going on here? I don't know why they're looking at her like that, but really they just said that she was safe. They were like... <laughs> so we have our last girl standing in the house. This feels like Messi set. You guys know that Messi was the last girl standing. Hmm. <laughs> so we have our last girl standing in the house. Congratulations, Umpowa Badimu. So let's talk about today's live eviction show. It was crazy. A lot of things went down. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, please do to subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that I can get notified each time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So we are going to go accordingly, just the way the live eviction show went. That's how I'm going to go with you guys. So um, big, um first say big brother Lawrence started by asking Tim how he feels based on the fact that he was head of house twice and he also won the ultimate veto power um holder he was also the ultimate veto power holder then he just said uh you know he feels grateful and all you know congratulations sir thank you so much how do you feel man i won't lie it's all god's plan with me mm. i felt very good and uh but but at the same time because i had to make some very harsh decisions yeah then Lawrence now asks tools how does it feel getting into the finals without, you know, ever being evicted and all of that? And those are like, uh, you know, he had to do things here and there, pull here, do this, do that, do that. And he doesn't really know, but that was how he was able to get through to the finals. Then there was a shit that Lawrence threw. <laughs> Lawrence was like, uh, you know, do this, do that, collect meat here and there, like Abina, collect food. He was just pointing out the fact that tools is always putting hand here and there and taking things. So I was like, oh tools exposure ah uh, you know uh you pull your push there you know yeah. uh you just do what you gotta do when you gotta do it Can't i hear me. you man. yeah uh -huh. i'm blessed to be here so i hear you man you pull here you take there you judge out the food i hear you i hear you <laughs> <laughs> then he now spoke to live and asked him about big brother's task that have they recovered from the whole thing that happened with Big Brother's task in the house? You guys know that Big Brother tasked him to, you know, take some items. And in all of that, he also threw shades. Again, that Lawrence. Lawrence is nutty on, 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 on a low... I mean, on... <laughs> He's not the on code. So Libo said that, you know, there's it, some people have recovered, some people have not recovered. That's only um, Lawrence now wanted him to be specific, but Libo do want to be specific. Libo now said that, you know, he doesn't know, it's just in the air. And Lawrence now said, eh, it's just in the air. A little, um, whether, what did he even say? Whether he called this spiritual, I mean, what did he, what did he, let me just play it for you guys so you see for yourself. <laughs> Specifically, do you know who has it? And, uh, I just sense it. I don't know who it is. Specific. Oh, it's in the air. It's in the air. It's like a spiritual realm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, this is when they now went into a victor. The first person that left the house was Terry. She actually left, um, she actually left really, left really gracefully. She just, you know, said thank you. Then, you know, went out with a whole lot of smile on her face. So, it was actually a nice one. So, she was the first person that left. Terry, your time in the Big Brother house has come to an end. <laughs> Four, leave the Big Brother house now. When she came out, as usual, they asked, I mean, Lawrence asked her some questions. One of the questions they asked her was about the ribs situation. I kind of knew that he was going to ask because that one just happened yesterday and it was a whole lot of heat going on around in the house. So he asked her about that one and she was just like, she just explained the situation, the fact that she didn't like what they did and the fact that she also wanted to share with them. Then he asked about Vino, of course, that what does she feel that was the situation there. And she said that she doesn't really know that, you know, she has been having a little bit of doubt but she will definitely find out when she goes out if he has been a good boy then obviously they are going to rock but if not then i don't know things might just get shaky so i would like to actually personally see how things are going to go with them when she leaves the house let's i'm gonna be watching i'm gonna be looking <laughs> at both of them sentiment still the same uh yeah i guess maybe because i haven't seen him for so long um obviously a little bit of doubt has been you know, placed in my mind because I don't know what he's doing outside. But for me, if you've been good, we can go. And then he asked her about work that um, from here, what's, what's it going to be going on from here? And she said she's um, excited and she would be going back to work. 
and this work is her adult content creation um she was literally talking about her only fans that she hasn't created content in a while and she knows that her people are waiting for her to come back and create content so she is going back to only fans so if you want to subscribe to terry's only fans i'm sure you would see details on her maybe instagram page or her twitter page so she is coming out i mean she's, she's ready to um, continue creating content for you guys so go subscribe <laughs> Straight back to work. I have a whole lot of content to shoot. I know a lot of people are waiting. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I've technically been on a break. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So a lot of people are waiting to yeah. see me do my thing. Yeah. So yeah, that's. I think that's. Those are the major questions that they asked Terry. Then he now went back in to evict more people. At this point, I was like, oh, how many more people are going to leave this house? <laughs> the second person that he evicted was um Sister Mara. Sister Mara's exit was also pretty cool. Like I think most of them just leave with a smile. Obviously, you're not going to bowl and say, mm, I'm leaving people at house. <laughs> so um Sister Mara was the next person to be evicted. Oh, Baker the Baker journey ends here. You have 10 seconds to leave the Big Brother house. For one of the questions they asked Sister Mara was who are the people that he's, he feels like he's going to connect with outside of the house, like continue a relationship with. And he said Tools and Terry. So he called Tools his brother and to, um, Tools his sister. And I'm like, how? Oh, hey. It's Terry What's and it? Tools. Yeah. Tools my brother to, and Terry's my sister. And I'm excited about my friendship with Paul Badi as, as much as it started out wonky. But yeah. You can say Tools your brother because you treated him like a brother, but Terry your sister. No. I don't think Sister Mara really treated Terry as a sister, so, um, but that's what Sister Mara said. So I'm guessing maybe he just considers everything as a game and then when they go out, I feel like they'll still connect regardless of what happened in the house. I feel like they're still going to connect because they actually do have a nice relationship, but let's see how that also plays out outside the house. Then, um, I think he now questioned him. No, he, <laughs> Lawrence now like hailed him and like, you know, told Sister Mara that um, well, he had a good run in the house that he really, really played his, his game well. So I liked that compliment because yeah, Sister Mara did a very, very good and played a very, very good game. Like all through winning back to back to back, very competitive and also I liked all of that. So I liked the fact that that Haley was there. So I'll say this, I'll say this, I'll probably get in trouble for this. Man, what a game! I know! You played an exceptional game. Thank you so much. And then they showed Sister Mara um, her journey in the house. Also showed Terry her journey. They showed all of them. Sister Mara, in fact, all of them that left today, their journey in the house was super. It was really nice. They were lively people. They had vibe especially when it comes to dance and all so they all had vibe their journeys were really really cool to look at so they just showed sister mara the journey then asked what um sister mara would like to do when she leaves the house and she said that she's going to she's ready for anything that comes her way but she's going to go back to school i think she still has one year to finish uh, with school then you know but aside that anything that comes you know so Tamara is down for you all. <laughs> the world must just use me and abuse me in every way possible, man. Like, I mean, I'm open to doing everything, but yeah. straight after this, it's back to school because I'm busy with my last year, okay. film and television. Okay. And then also trying to get these gigs, man. Then the title's eviction. <laughs> Apparently, after the, you know, the announcement of the eviction, Gashon now collected his last kiss. <laughs> so, you know, they kissed. Then even when she was about to leave the door, I'm um, all guys should know to let her go. It was almost as if he wanted to hold that day and see what Big Brother would do when after he finished count after he finished counting down to like one. Then there was this weird smile that Libo was giving. I'm like, what's this smile about? Is he are you smiling that you're happy about what's going on? Or you're smiling that what they are doing is cute? I don't know, but <laughs> it was just this weird smile. It's the end of the road and you have been evicted. Six Five, four, three, two. Then when Tato came out of the house, um, what questions did they even ask? Okay, they asked her about her situationships. First of all, we asked about tools, then no man. Um, for tools, she said that she was she was attracted to tools, obviously. Like maybe she went and she was attracted to tools, but when she got close to him, she just noticed that they are not like compatible that tools was just all about the game and that's not the kind of that's what know how she came into the house for norman she said she was also attracted to norman um when she came in but maybe she heard about his age i was like no she um nothing can really happen there with gashwan 
she said gash my gash <laughs> with gash one she said that she did not see him coming at all she also declared love more self-aware because my life was so busy that i didn't have time to really um get into my emotions so i would go to work nine to five come back then i rock on that other app yes, yes, yes. that's the top app yeah. yes i didn't really have time to look at myself but that one is no new child i think they've said it to each other i love you love you as in we've said i love you like one million times so it's not exactly a new thing to hear but she said that on stage then danced her way out of the stage she also left very gracefully like she danced when she was leaving the house and then also danced when she was leaving the stage and then they now went in and, and, and acknowledged the final five there was this very very funny laughter that gashwan <laughs> that gashwan gave like not funny it was wicked laughter it was ha 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 I can't even describe it, but there was this um, way he laughed. Like I don't know if he's he was laughing as a wicked laughter, but he was just looking at the trial, and then you know he laughed. And <laughs> Let me show you guys the voting results. So Terry had 9.59% of the vote. Tato had 14.97%. Sister Mara had 17.26% wow these people did good i kind of feel like this is how the arrangement is going to be so with this bottom results it's like from what we're seeing here it means that the, the bottom three if i say bottom two the bottom three shared a total of about 41.8 percent and the top now have a total of like 58 that's the top two you now divide it like 29 29 percent i'm just saying i'm not saying that they both had equal percentage but i feel like the gap this year with the top people is not like it's not a lot because the for sister Mara to be having 17 it means that gashwan or Mpo, none of them had less than 20 percent so it's gonna be a tough one this season so make sure you go all out for your favorites this year and voting has already started i've been voting i think by nine o'clock but voting is starting this evening until friday so go out there go hustle for the votes and yeah i'm going to see you guys on the next one bye love you